Yo, what up guys? So welcome back to the channel. Uh, so what I'm gonna be working on today is I'm be installing this TSCC3 system on the, my Dodge uh, Grand Caravan 2017. Uh, if you follow the other video, I did post another uh, video regarding the Android unit that I found in Amazon, which was a very good find. But uh, the only reason I'm, I swapped it out or well, I'm gonna be swapping it out for this one is that uh, they suggested this one. Uh, so I looked into it and it has a, has a little bit more features than the other one. And the reason I got the other one was because the Apple CarPlay, which is something, you know, that I wanted. So this one has Apple CarPlay and a lot of more features. I'll be posting a link to this radio so you can uh, check the reviews in, the, in their descriptions. And um, also because this one holds um, a SIM card. So I don't have to be connecting to my, um, my hotspot. I can put a SIM card on there and have internet anytime I want. So um, on this one, this one has, it already comes with the whole plug and play kit. It comes with the frame, three USBs on this one. The other one had two. This one has uh, uh, three, uh, 5G antenna, 4G antenna, GPS antenna, uh, microphone. Then it has the canvas system. And this is the, for the SIM card right here. It has one here and one on the radio itself um, and everything else. And also it brings an aftermarket camera but this is something i'm gonna see how the quality is with the stock one if it's not great then uh i might install an aftermarket camera but not this one i'll show you guys that later on so uh this is the system i'll be working on so let me get to my van uh get everything uh set up and hooked up and i uh, walk you through the process all right guys so i'm back at the van um so i'm gonna walk you through the process of taking off the oem stereo so what you're gonna do first is remove this trim. So what I did is with the trim removal tool, just get it on the corners and here on this, pop it on the side here and the side here, because it has some of this type of um, clips. So once you do that, grab that, put it on the side, and then you're gonna find, there's gonna be four screws, one here, one here, one here, and one here. They're uh, Phillips head like this. And you, once you take off those four screws, then you gotta take the stereo out. So what I found easiest was to get like a, um, even if it's a flathead or this type, just get it on here and pry it out. Cause it's like a tight fit. So pry it out like that. Once you do that, then you can pull the stereo out. So from here, you gotta start disconnecting all these plugs. So you can start by this one right here. That's one, two, three and then four all right for this plug you gotta just press on the tabs real good wiggle it out and it pops out then you can put the stereo on the side and then to get then i'm gonna remove this uh cover right here this panel so i can get uh have more access to install more stuff so what you gotta do is there's two more screws right here. There's one here, one here. Once you get that out, then with the pry removal tool, just start prying all around. And once you get it loose, just pop out, pops out. And there's gonna be three plugs. Once you plug that out, then you have this, you have all this, all this room to work with. All right, guys, so I'm in the step where I'm hooking up the microphone. I ended up putting it there. It has like a little double side tape, a uh, little bracket, so I put it there. So you can remove the, like right there. Then you can just stick it back on there, clip it, and that's it. So I ran the wire through here. I peeled this back, pulled it back, ran it through all the way in there. And to get it down to here, I came down here and I took off this panel. I, well, I took off this panel. It's a panel right here. Pull this back, ran the wire here, through here. And then uh, in order to remove this panel, it's just, it's just clipped on with a trim remote tool like this or the plastic ones, you just pop it out and that's it. In order to bring down this panel, it has one push pin type like this. It has right there one. It has another one down here, two and three, which is here and there. And everything has those like clip, 
So you just push, uh, pull back on it and that's it. Then you have access to the bottom of the steering wheel. So from here, if you can see, I'm gonna try to show you the best I can where I ran the wire, right there. You see the black wire? Black wire. I ran it through the top of the cables, which is this one, all the way through the top on the back side. And I got it out here, all on the top. No wires right here, look, right there. Pulled it out from there. Once I got there, I just ran it. If you can see the cable right here, ran it through the top and then pulled it out through here. That's why it's important to remove this piece so you can have access to all that space. All right, guys, so I'm in the step now that I mounted uh, the screen onto the frame with the supplied screws. I connected all the necessary uh, connections that I need to do. I put the I put the antennas back there, so you can see. That's one, two, and three. And try to cable manage as much as I can so everything looks nice and neat. Uh, so now I just got to connect the main harness to the car, the antenna, the antenna right here. And for the stock rear view camera, it's another cable. It's this one. It's all these cables, you know, it's unnecessary, but you need all that to have that one cable for the camera, for the stock camera. So I'll see how the process goes with the camera. If it looks good, I'll keep it. If not, then I'm, uh, I'm going to put an aftermarket uh, camera on it. But for right now, that's what I'm doing. And um, I just got to run all the cables, hide everything, make everything look neat. And um, I'll show you guys. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you where I ran the USB cables and for the SIM card. I ran, if you see, this is this one. This is the black one right here. I ran it through there. If you can see that. Oh, it's kind of hard to see right there. Well, basically, it comes out back here under the glove box. Right there. So run the cables down there. And I can get it right here, right at the glove box in case I need to get the SIM card or any USB cables. It's right there. All right, guys. So I got everything connected back there, ready to go. Uh, so now what I got to do is reverse order is connect these plugs and put this in place. Put the two screws and put every, all the panels back together. All right, guys. So I got everything back in place already, uh, bolted down and uh, everything else mounted. And I wanted to show you, I ended up getting the SIM card. Here's the slot for it. SIM card's in there already. So what you gotta do is just slide this thing over to the left, right? And then you pop this thing forward and it pops up. Then you put the SIM card down, uh, pop it forward, close this and you push it back and that's it. Now you got the SIM card in there. And then once you start the vehicle, there's a one more step you have to do in order for the SIM card to read correctly. So what you do is once you're here, uh, you go to, um, no, not, not that way. You go to settings right there and then sim card info once you first put it it has slots one slot two slot two will be the one in the glove box slot one will be the one that is con there's another slot behind the radio in here i'm not using that one i'm using slot two and the one in the glove box but it's, it's gonna say sim card empty even though you have it on there so what you gotta do is bring it down here and when it says reboot you hit reboot once you hit the reboot then it's gonna read it and just to confirm just go back to the um, settings which will be this one. Then you go back to settings, SIM card, and see now it reads. So it's right there. Uh, that's for that. All right, so now to get the steering wheel working for the volume up, volume down, and answer your phone calls, what you gotta go, what you gotta do is go to, from the beginning, go back to settings. Then you go to um, car model, canvas, uh, enter canvas setting, and then look for the the one that says xp then you click on jeep and you click on all and xp so that allows you the canvas control for the steering wheel so you can see i can turn up the volume and i can uh, answer the phone calls uh, i can uh, switch tracks answer phone calls volume and now when i open the car door you get that as well so that that's just that's what it takes to get into the to in order for the canvas to work. 
Also, to connect uh, your Bluetooth so you can listen to the music and everything else, you go to uh, this little circle right here, which gives you the apps. And then you go to uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. And then you go settings. And here's where you uh, start pairing the, the Bluetooth on this device. I already did mine, so I don't have to do that. And also, I wanted to show you guys um, the Apple CarPlay. So you hit up uh, CarLink 2.2. And from here, it connects to the Apple CarPlay. And there you go. That's how it connects to the Apple CarPlay and you got everything else from here. And it's wireless Apple CarPlay. All right, guys, one more thing I wanted to show you is the rear view camera, because I have the stock camera on this one. So the quality, uh, I mean, there you go. You see the quality is not that great. It's kind of like hazy. The colors are a bit off. Uh, I guess for for the time being, that's okay. But I'm not I'm not gonna be um, using the stock camera from the vehicle, the OEM camera. I actually purchased another camera, which I'm gonna be doing a full install with. Uh, it's gonna look like basically OEM. That's in another video that I'll be posting. Um, so yeah, so rear view. You see, it's not that great, and it moves with the steering wheel, which I like that. That feature is nice right there yeah but I, i'm not gonna be keeping like i said the oem camera i gonna be uh uh putting like a, a different one that is gonna look basically oem all right guys so that's pretty much an install on this uh unit this tayus unit i have to say that i love the way this one uh works the interface is much faster uh less glitchy and um you know it's just a better unit Overall, the one that I ordered prior, I installed prior from Amazon, it's a good unit, you know, because I got it because of the uh, Apple CarPlay. But this one has Apple CarPlay. It's actually responsive. It's much faster. And one of the main uh, things, why, uh, reasons why I got this one is because I'm able to put a SIM card. So with the SIM card, it's basically like a tablet on your vehicle with that, those with the extra added features. Um, and um, I have to say, this is a, a, a very good unit. And just to let you guys know on um, when you order this one it says it's for the grand voyager which is chrysler uh but it's pretty much the same thing because i haven't seen a dodge uh caravan with this unit installed but as you can see it's basically the same thing as the grand voyager uh with that being said uh don't forget to like subscribe any concerns comments or questions leave them down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace